What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and I produce daily content for homeowners and new and up and coming heating and air technicians teaching you everything you need to know about HVAC and on today's service call what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to check a Goodman gas pack heat exchanger for cracks and rust holes. So if you want to see how I check it and see how it's done stick with me and I'll show you how I do it. All right, this is the unit that we're going to be checking the heat exchanger on. What I've went ahead to, and done just to save time, I took all the screws out of the sides, uh, all the screws out of the top, I took those off. And also to, to raise this, this top, because we're going to have to raise this top to get to our heat exchanger. Our heat exchanger is actually right here in this gas pack. You had to take the fan took the screws out of the fan that is here and what I did is I just laid the fan on top of the compressor down here at the bottom that will give us access so we can open up our top and here is our heat exchanger alright I took the front panel off and basically propped the top of, of the gas pack against that so we can get down to the heat exchanger here is your heat exchanger here and kinda how this works is these are your burners this blows fire into your heat exchanger down at the bottom of the heat exchanger here that heat goes up the heat exchanger and then leaves your heat exchanger at your inducer fan motor and it comes out of your your flue here so that's basically how it works it's very important to check these heat exchangers for any cracks or rust holes because the thing is if you have any cracks or rust holes anywhere your blower which is over here blows air across this the heat exchanger is hot it warms the air it goes through your evaporator coil and goes into the house so if you have any type of cracks or any rust holes uh, that's how you get carbon monoxide into your house so you always want to make sure these heat exchangers are not cracked so let's go ahead and inspect these heat exchangers now one thing on these Goodman's I don't know if you see these little rings here these things are very troublesome for for rusting and falling out you want to make sure you, your rings are in your heat exchanger you want to go down every single one of these these bins you want to take a little a little mirror or something and that way you can see like the bottom but you want to check everywhere on each one of these cells everywhere it bends to make sure you have no cracks or no rust holes see I'm taking a mirror and what I'm doing is I'm going I'm going down this heat exchanger so I can see the bottom go all the way across all in the back of the heat exchanger here and you also go in the middle checking everywhere you've got to turn on this heat exchanger one thing you also want to do when you're checking a heat exchanger this is your face plate of your heat exchanger this is what your inducer motor or your burner assembly everything attaches onto you want to look down to where your blower is and you see, not your blower but your burners are where it blows into the heat exchanger you want to make sure there's no cracks on the entrance to the heat exchanger from the burners because a lot of times if you've got inefficient combustion or your, or your flame is is not burning correctly it can overheat those those little holes and cause those holes to crack so if the face plates cracked basically the heat exchanger needs to be replaced so so always check that as well all right well we went through this entire heat exchanger from top to bottom through each single cell and there is no cracks on this heat exchanger so this heat exchanger is in pretty decent condition now we've got some rust spots that we need to recommend the customer definitely keep an eye on uh, I would definitely recommend them to having a, a maintenance uh, each year to to keep an eye on these rust spots 
I would also, rec also recommend the customer having a carbon monoxide detector in their house. They don't have one just to make sure if this thing ever does crack or you get a, end up getting a rust hole in it that sh they have something to, to protect them. Uh, <clears throat> carbon monoxide, you can't see it, you can't smell it. The only way you would really know is if it starts affecting you like bad headaches and things like that. And really when it starts affecting you, it's, it, it could be a little bit too late. So it's always good every single year if you have a gas unit, always check your heat exchanger and always stress to your customer the the importance of having that done. Uh, it'll keep them safe and um, as a heating and air technician, it'll basically give you something every year to come back to keep you busy by doing the maintenance and checking the heat exchanger and other components of the furnace. So guys, pretty easy thing to do. You just got to really know how to get to it and really know what parts to check and what parts to keep an eye on. So guys, I hope you learned something. If you have, please hit that like and subscribe. It means more to me than you know. And as always, I will see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.